Welcome back to TPS. American football is one of the most violent and punishing sports in the world. But while most players know the difference between clean and safe tackles and a dangerous hit or a cheap shot, there are always going to be some guys who don't care about crossing the line. Here are 17 instances where an NFL player committed a heinous on-the-field act that should have resulted in a 15-year sentence instead of just a 15-yard penalty. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Number 17, Rob Gronkowski elbows Tredavious White. Former New England Patriots Pro Bowl tight end Rob Gronkowski often kept it clean in his career. But Gronk's near-perfect image took a bit of a hit during a 2017 game against the Buffalo Bills. Bills corner Tredavious White picked off a Tom Brady pass and went down to the ground after the play. But White probably got away with defensive holding against Gronk on the play, and that infuriated the Patriots star. With White on the ground, Gronkowski went over and hit him viciously in the head with his forearm. It's a little banged up. He's down. Someone comes by and hits Gronk from behind. And then Gronk, this is going to get flagged. Oh, Gronk's 100%. White suffered a concussion, but was thankfully removed from protocol soon after. Gronk apologized and expressed that he was merely frustrated with the no call against White. He was given a one-game suspension, and the Patriots lost to the Miami Dolphins without Gronk. Number 16, Juju Smith-Schuster's blindside block on Vontae's perfect. Former Pro Bowl linebacker Vontae's perfect is one of the most disliked players in the NFL, and rightfully so. No one player has dished out more cheap shots than the former Bengals linebacker. There are plenty of NFL players who would love to get a piece of perfect, and that's exactly what Juju Smith-Schuster did to perfect during a 2017 Monday night game between the Steelers and Bengals. The rookie wideout viciously hit perfect during a Le'Veon Bell running play. It's a peel back block, and that's going to be a fine. Smith-Schuster was suspended for one game for his actions. Number 15, Vontae's Burfecht's costly hit on Jack Doyle. The Oakland Raiders visited the Indianapolis Colts in week four of the 2019 season, and it marked the final straw for the NFL when it came to dealing with Burfecht. Jack Doyle made a catch near midfield, and he was left exposed and defenseless. Burfecht ran over and smoked Doyle right in the head, leading to an ejection. Yeah, I mean, if the, the game is different, then you, you cannot lead with your helmet. Especially the NFL did the right thing and suspended Burfecht for the remainder of the season. Number 14, LaMarcus Joyner knocks out Teddy Bridgewater. It's a pretty easy rule for defensive players. If a quarterback is sliding after a running play, you don't hit him, it's dirty and dangerous. But former Ram safety LaMarcus Joyner forgot this simple memo during a 2015 road game against the Vikings. After Teddy Bridgewater slid for a first down conversion, Joyner came in and delivered a dirty shot to the QB's head. Bridgewater was knocked out on the play. But, uh, I mean, teams go into a, a game with four, five, six different cadences. All right, everyone knows that's the universal pull-off. The NFL fined Joyner $23,152 for hitting Bridgewater. The latter had to leave the game, but he fortunately recovered and didn't miss any contest throughout the remainder of the year. Number 13, Bill Romanowski breaks Kerry Collins' jaw. Bill Romanowski may have been a four-time Pro Bowl champion and two-time Pro Bowl linebacker, but he's also one of the dirtiest professional athletes of all time. During a 1997 preseason game between his Broncos and the Panthers, Romanowski laid out a brutal hit on quarterback Kerry Collins, who suffered a broken jaw on the play. It's hard to imagine Romanowski would have lasted long in today's NFL. Number 12, Chase Kaufman tackles Ravens assistant coach. Kaufman was a standout tight end for Missouri, winning the 2008 John Mackey Award while earning a consistent All-American selection. However, Kaufman is best remembered for the big-time cheap shot he delivered on a Baltimore Ravens assistant coach during a 2014 game. Following a Zach Mettenberger interception, cameras caught Kaufman going over to the Baltimore sidelines and hitting Ravens assistant coach Tony Coxon. Instead of going after the interceptor, Boom! Goes after the coach Ooh. on the sideline there, an assistant coach from the Baltimore Ravens. Kaufman was hit with a $30,000 fine for his actions. He claimed that the hit wasn't done on purpose, but if you look at the video, you can sort of see that it might have been. Number 11, Odell Beckham Jr. had hunts Josh Norman. The Giants hosted the Panthers in Week 15 of the 2015 season, and though it turned out to be an epic shootout between Eli Manning and Cam Newton, Everyone best remembers this contest due to the Beckham-Norman beef. The two pro bowlers went at each other all game long, but Beckham crossed the line more than Norman here committing four penalties in game, having gone for Norman's head on two occasions in this contest. Norman was on him, they gave a little bit of help, and these two, wow, these two are still going, that's not it, it's here. 
Beckham was suspended for one game for the incident, and he lost his appeal. The Panthers went on to win the game, but they eventually fell to the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 50. Beckham apologized for what he did. Number 10. Kiko Alonso's Headshot on Joe Flacco Remember what we said about defensive players having to know the rule about not hitting a quarterback when he's sliding and giving himself up? Alonzo ignored that rule when his Dolphins visited the Ravens in a 2017 Thursday night showdown. Joe Flacco slid near the first down marker and Alonzo came in and smoked him so hard that Flacco's helmet came off. Oh, rolling, rolling and running and he's going to have to, oh, not the ball. So, watch this, Joe with a good run, slides. Alonzo managed to avoid a suspension while Flacco entered concussion protocol. The NFL only gave Alonzo a $9,115 fine. So much for protecting the quarterbacks these days. Number 9. Indomitian Sue's Attack on Evan Dietrich Smith If perennial Pro Bowl defensive lineman Indomitian Sue doesn't get inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, it will be because of his reputation for cheap shots. But Sue's worst incident took place during the Detroit Lions' 2011 home Thanksgiving game against the Green Bay Packers. He pushed Dietrich Smith's head right to the ground before stomping right onto his arm. Here he is at the bottom of that pile. A takedown there. Sue was handed a two-game suspension. Number 8. Vontae's Burfecht's cheap shot hit on Antonio Brown The Bengals were 22 seconds away from defeating the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 2015 AFC wildcard round. This would have given the long-suffering Bengals fans their first playoff win since the 1990 season. Instead, Vontae's Burfecht just couldn't resist the temptation to act like a clown again. He was flagged for a horrible headshot on Antonio Brown. Drive started, was talking on the sideline the whole time it seemed like Two, Vontaze, Whoa. perfect, and yes. Adam Jones was also flagged for engaging in a confrontation with Joey Porter, who was the Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker's coach. That set up a short field for the Steelers, and Chris Boswell booted the game-winning field goal to extend the Bengals' postseason winless drought. Perfect was suspended for three games. Number 7, Danny Trevathan knocks out Devontae Adams. The Green Bay Packers and Chicago Bears have perhaps the greatest rivalry in the NFL. The nice part is, it's usually a clean one. But when the two teams met at Lambeau Field for a 2017 Thursday night showdown, Danny added some unwanted fuel to the rivalry by launching himself at the head of Devontae Adams, even though the Packers receiver was already wrapped up for an easy tackle. I mean, you got 10 blockers. Look, he's already, he's oh, already hit down. Look That's it. your frustration being taken out right there. Trevathan was flagged for the hit. His initial two-game suspension was knocked down at just one. Yeah, we don't understand the NFL player safety department either. Number 6. Dante Wesley's Cheap Shot on Clifton Smith Wesley was a standout cornerback during his college days at Arkansas Pine Bluff, but he wasn't able to reach that superstar form in the NFL. He joined the league in 2002 after being drafted in the fourth round by the Panthers, and he last played for the Lions in 2010. Most will remember Wesley for his cheap shot he delivered to Buccaneers returner Clifton Smith during a 2009 showdown where he dished out the brutal hit before the latter could even field the football. Is the gunner, and Clifton Smith goes and gets set up, and Wesley just lowers the bull. Wesley was penalized for fair catch interference and issued a personal foul. He was ejected from the game. The league suspended him for one week. Number 5. DeShazer Everett hits defenseless Darren Sproles If a punt returner doesn't wave fair catch, you can't hit him until he feels the football. The Washington Redskins safety Everett showed zero regard for the rule book and for the safety of Darren Sproles during a 2016 showdown against the Eagles. Dangerous Sproles attempted to catch a punt from the Redskins, but Everett came in and laid out a cheap shot on Sproles before he could even make a play on the ball. Sproles up. Oh, he gets blasted the ball. That drew a penalty, and Everett was also guilty of committing a defenseless block on Brent Selleck in the same game. For these two penalties, Everett was fined a whopping $48,000. Number 4. Turkey Jones suplexes Terry Bradshaw Turkey Jones played in the NFL from 1970 to 80, but anything he accomplished in his career was forever overshadowed by his gutless hit on Terry Bradshaw in a 76 game between the Browns and Steelers. Jones was able to get his hands on Bradshaw, and the officials blew their whistles to signal the end of the play. Jones still decided to body slam Bradshaw WWE style, and the Steelers quarterback landed on his head. Bradshaw suffered a concussion, although he and Jones were lucky that it didn't end up being more serious. That drew a flag and Jones was fined $3,000. Number 3. Charles Martin Body Slams Jim McMahon After a stint in the CFL, Charles Martin joined the Green Bay Packers in 86. He wasn't a star player by any means, but Martin forever lives on in NFL infamy 
because of an ugly hit he delivered to Jim McMahon during an 86 game against the Bears. Martin apparently had a hit list of Bears players for the game. After McMahon threw a pick to Mark Lee of the Packers, Martin body slammed McMahon right to the ground, and Chicago's quarterback suffered a serious shoulder injury. Ball is long gone. What is this? Oh wow, man, that, no, that's, that that's is, ridiculous. Uh, I Martin was kicked out of the game, and the league suspended him for two games. At the time, this was the longest player suspension in NFL history for a play on the field. McMahon's shoulder injury forced him to miss the remainder of the season. Number 2 Miles Garrett's attack on Mason Rudolph The Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers have never liked each other, but this has always been quite a one-sided rivalry. Ask most Steelers fans and they'll say that the beef with Cleveland isn't as tense and heated compared to their rivalries with the Bengals and Baltimore Ravens. But that all changed in 2019. The Browns hosted the Steelers in Week 11 on Thursday Night Football. It was a sluggish and sloppy affair full of dirty plays, including an ugly headshot from Demarius Randall on Deontay Johnson of the Steelers, who had to leave the game and enter concussion protocol. The game got even more out of hand at the very end, when Mason Rudolph and Miles Garrett got into a heated altercation. During that scuffle, Garrett snatched Rudolph's helmet and hit him over the head with it. Oh, Rudolph didn't like the way that he was tackled. Oh, was gosh! Man. Oh, man! Oh! Thankfully, Rudolph avoided serious injury. Even Garrett's own head coach and teammates couldn't defend him. Voicing their embarrassment and disappointment in his actions, the NFL suspended Garrett for the rest of the 2019 season as a result of the play. Rudolph declined to press charges against Garrett. There was no reason for anybody to hate Garrett or question his character at the time, but his attack on Rudolph will always leave an unwanted stain on his career. Number 1. Albert Hainsworth Stumps on Andre Girard Hainsworth could have been a Hall of Famer, but his attitude, laziness, and arrogance cost him everything. He's widely regarded as the worst free agent signing in NFL history, having landed a San Vignier Pact worth $100 million from Washington in 2009. In Week 4 of the 2006 season, Hainsworth destroyed his legacy with one act. Cowboys offensive lineman Andre Girard was on the ground, and Hainsworth proceeded to rip off his helmet before viciously stomping on Girard's head. Right there. Oh my God. Hainsworth was rightfully ejected from the game, and he was hit with a five game suspension. Girard required 30 stitches to close the wound. Hainsworth apologized for his actions and acknowledged the mistake, but it simply wasn't enough to erase the memory of his sickening actions. What other instances should a player have gotten 15 years instead of a 15 yard penalty? Join us in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.